Hey, how y'all doing? All right, I am back. I've been gone for a while. I've been moving. I'm getting, getting things settled and whatnot, so I'm settled in. So I was just coming through to hopefully make a quick video um, just on my one year anniversary um, of having my sister locks. And I'm also going to do that in combination with a review for a tool called Wrap a Lock, Wrap a Lock, that I used to get this kind of tight curl situation going on. So let's just get into the one year since so like anniversary. So on August 17th um, of this year, I made one year of having my sister locks that I got established um, last year while I was still in Georgia. Um, I still think it's the best hair decision I've made. Um, yeah, I, I, I did use the wrap lock tool to um, curl my hair on last night. I just sprayed it with some water, put the tools in. I'll show you the tools a little bit later. Um, this is kind of the first style, I guess, that I've done other than um, spraying it down and putting like a clip on one side, which is how I normally wear it, wear, it, um, wear them, my hair per se. Uh, so yeah, that's how I came up with the look. Um, I guess I'm gonna go back over my pros and cons of having sister locks now that I've had them for a year. Um, it's going to sound like I have more cons than pros, <laughs> just looking at the list, but I promise you I still love them. I still enjoy them. All right, so one of the cons is they're always, to me, they always seem very dry. Um, and I, you know, I don't really know of anything to combat that. I drink mostly water, um, all the other things that I found online. I use rose water. Um, I use a tiny bit of jojoba oil every now and again. Um, it's just, I guess it's just the nature of 4C hair. It just is dry. I'm used to it. Um, it's itchy. Sometimes my scalp is very itchy. Um, I haven't tried anything um, other than kind of rubbing witch hazel on there every now and again. But other than that, I haven't tried a whole lot. Um, I just scratch it if it itches. That's about it. Uh, one of the other cons that I have found since having these sister locks for a year um, is that they, they still kind of shrink. Even when um, I didn't do this curl style, um, I would just spray them even after immediately washing them. Um, once they dry, they still shrink a little bit. They still tend to shrink a little bit. Like you can, you can tell I got really, why can you see it? really 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 good length on my hair but it just shrinks that's just the nature of the beast um so it's still kind of still kind of shrinks so i don't get the full um the full length that comes with sister locks um but it's better than it better it's better than when i was natural uh a loose natural shall i say um some of the, some of the locks are locked and some are not and this is merely a guess because I haven't been to a consultant in about seven months. I've been uh, self-maintaining, self-retightening, all that good stuff. So um, some of the ends are kind of bulbous and you can kind of tell what's kind of, some of the ends have folded back on themselves, which kind of lets me know that they have locked and some of the ends still have curls. Like this one, for example, let's see. This guy still has a, yeah, let's see, I don't know, I'm horrible at this. He still has a curl. This is still loose curl. So some of the hair has loose curls. Some um, of the ends are kind of locked, um, which provides a little bit of a challenge when I just do my standard two corn rolls just to get it out of the way and put it up for the night. But eh, not, not really a big, big enough deal. So that is one of the cons that I've noticed. Um, but again, I'm, I am assuming that they're not fully locked or settled um, as it would be called in the sister lock world. And I'm okay with that. I mean, it doesn't bother me a whole lot. It's just something that I've noticed during this last year. Um, I've also noticed that reties take forever. And reties take forever because I do them myself. Obviously, I haven't taken the class. They do have a self retightening class that you can take for like 300 bucks or something like that. Um, I have not felt compelled to do so. 
So um, I haven't taken that class. Uh, watched lots of YouTube videos, bought quite a few tools online to help me do it myself. Uh, when I was going, when I, ow, oh, sorry, sorry, nervous, I guess, I don't know. Why am I cracking my fingers? Um, I bought some of the tools online to do it myself, to the retightenings, and that's been better for my bank account just to do it myself and not have to pay somebody to do it. Um, but they take forever as opposed to a consultant doing it and it taking about three hours. It's taking me about five, six hours. And um, I'm just guessing because I normally do like the back half uh, one day after I get off of work and then the other half the second day, um, which averages, which would average out to about six hours for my husband, five or six hours for me to do um, my self retize, um, which I also don't do very often, which I should probably get back into. Um, yeah. What else? Um, one thing that I have noticed, I moved uh, to back to South Carolina after retiring out of the military um, about a week and a half now. And looking on the Sister Lots website, there is no, there are no, there are no consultants here. And I know you're saying, oh, she don't go to a consultant anyway. So why is she looking for one? Well, I would go sometimes periodically like when i you know get tired of spending six hours of my life retiring my hair you know i would go to her um or it would be nice to utilize one you know if i have a special event or you know get a style or whatnot so um i am looking for somebody um i put it on the sister lots facebook group and they gave me someone that's located about an hour and a half from where an hour and a half from where i live now um i may or may not try it i have heard that a lot of the consultants um don't really respond or they're not taking new clients when they already have their established customer base. So that's going to be a challenge as well. So I'm either going to have to make that hour and a half drive. Um, and someone also suggested uh, going to a person that does traditional lots, you know, the larger size lots. Um, because essentially sister lots are just, you know, locks that are interlocked. So if, one, if somebody has experience with interlocking, then that may be a closer option as opposed to doing it myself or I'm driving an hour and a half to the next city that has a consultant. So that will be, um, I guess, my new mission to find a consultant or an alternative. So we'll see. But I guess a comment because I had to write one down. All right, so moving on to the pros of having had my sister lots for a year and nine days. Um, low maintenance. It's it's still very low maintenance to me. It's um, it's a shake and go, as I as I describe it as. Um, this is my first time doing a curly style on them, so this is actually not going to last through the day. Um, once I'm done making this video, I'm actually going to go wash my hair. And I'm going to try, <laughs> yeah, uh, y'all saw that I did standard box braids on them a while back. Um, I was still in the military, so I didn't keep them long because it was hurting trying to put them up every day. Now that I'm out of the military, I am going to do one of two things um, this week. I'm going to do either the standard box braids or I'm going to try to do the knotless box braids on top of these as a protective style because I am due. Uh, this is just a little clip I found from walmart a really cute clip came with a set of three about two different sets um just to clip this side back because the curls had kind of dropped on that side this video is getting long bear with me um low maintenance it's still low maintenance it's still a shake and go style um it's still very versatile um yeah i've done braids on top of them done flat twists i've done braid outs i've done twist outs um but more times than not i just wash them spray them Break them up for bed, unloosen them. Um, depends on if I'm doing anything and they still not. I may not unbraid them. But I don't just spray them, run my hands through them, that, and pin one side back and call it a day. Um, they, I have on here as a pro is that they're low cost. And they're probably low cost to me because, you know, despite going, paying that initial, I think, 850 that I paid a year ago to get them installed and then going to a consultant for retightening maybe three times, which is like $100. So $300 total for maintenance. That's not bad for a year. Um, just consider how much I used to spend in relaxers and braids and wigs and weaves and blah, 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 blah. Um, they've been much more cost effective. Um, also from the cost effective spectrum of things, um, I do my 
retightenings, as I mentioned earlier, I retight myself. So that cuts out um, the fee of having to go to a consultant in order to get my hair retightened because um, from that, consultants can create their own pricing when it comes to what they got what they're going to charge you for retightening uh just in my research and what i found uh considering you know things aren't standard from that aspect so i mean i could live in one place and one consultant would charge me a hundred dollars to you know just retight my whole hair um another consultant could charge me fifty dollars per hour and you know whatever it's just at their discretion so that is a very a variance when it comes to pricing um so i cut all that out and I just do them myself granted it's double the time I saved the money so you you know you have to wait your opportunity to cost on that one but um low cost just from my experience in this year and nine days that I've had them so um another a pro from have another pro of having sister locks for me have been that I get even though they shrink I get more length than when I was a, a loose and natural, as I mentioned earlier. Um, if I was a loose and natural right now, I'd probably um, be very uh, reminiscent of Frederick Douglass. That would be what would be happening right now. Yeah, it'd be very matted, and it would take a lot to get it to look like this. I'd have to do like a braid out or something as opposed to just waking up today and taking out my wrap a lot tools, hand combing through my curls and going on about my day. So yeah, um, I still enjoy them. Um, I kind I know I kind of started this channel under, under the guise of um, reviewing my sister locks, but I'm lazy. I don't do much to them, so I don't really know, you know, I have a whole lot of content that relates to that. Um, I am going to try to get back better with the reviews. Uh, we're at 12 minutes, so let's let's move on to the wrap a lot tool review. Oh, before I, before I uh, review the tool that I use to get these curls, um, what I did notice is that I did I did have to combine quite a few of them. I know I had 300 and it was either 306 or 360 sister locks originally um, in one of the earlier videos. Um, I think that number has probably gone down. I have not counted a lot of the ones on the Ow. A lot of the ones on the ends, actually not along the front, a lot of the ones in the back were very small and I had to combine them. Um, by combining them, when I did a retighten, I just put them close together, took my tool through and just fed the two ends into the one root, if that makes sense. So I have combined it, quite a few of them along the nape here and along the back of my hair because they were getting um, very thin and I have I have lost two soldiers. I lost one back here and I lost one. I lost one on each side. Um, I still have them. I guess just, I don't know why. I think I saw somewhere that somebody said that they could be reattached, which I mean, they're locks. They could definitely be reattached, but I guess I'm keeping them just to compare lengths, you know, a few years down the road, just to kind of see where I came from. Um, so I did end up combining, I did end up combining, uh, a few, a few of them in the back. Um, my grid still looks really good. You can't really tell that they combined unless you kind of see the double headed dragons. Like this one, for example, is combined. Let's see, let's see. This one's combined, but you can't tell because I did a two strand twist. So this, this one, this was the standard lift and then the edge the very edge piece that was there was very about this long but it was very thin so I, when I did a retightening um about three or four months ago I just combined the two and then I just twist two strand twisted the um the legs of it and eventually they just locked together so you can't even tell that it was two um and when my hair is down or styled however you can't tell that I have two headed dragons which is you know Two locks that become one and a half like two tails um eventually if my hair gets longer and i start to tell i'll probably just cut one of the legs off and we'll keep on all right um i also noticed that earlier i mentioned that i'm gonna probably have to get back into the habit of sorry i'm looking at the window i'm nosy um get into the habit of retightening my hair a lot sooner and that is because i have come to the realization that my hair grows faster and slower my hair grows at varying rates and i did not notice that when i was relaxed and loose natural but i'm noticing it now because um 
the front of my hair, I haven't retied my hair since my birthday, which was what, July or so. And it looks fine, right? It looks it looks pretty good. It looks fine. I don't look very I don't look like I'm overdue. Stop doing that. Like I'm super overdue for a retightening, right? Well, the back of my hair is there's a mini fro back here. And I don't know if it's, it's because a lot of the back ones are still much smaller than the front ones, even though the ratio is the same. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. I haven't asked anybody. I'm just my hair winging it at this point. Um, the back of my hair grows a lot faster. So I have a mini fro in the back of my head and the front, everything else, it doesn't even need to be retied. Like I could probably do one, two passes. I probably not even, um, I normally do a rotation of three or four. When I retie my hair, I may do one or two in the front sometimes because they're still a lot tighter. In the back, I have to do like four, five, six, seven, eight rotations depending on the day of the week. So um, I guess in order to keep the back up with the front, I have to either tighten the back of my hair sooner than the front or just do, you know, sooner retightenings at uh, earlier, earlier intervals. I don't know. Um, I just know that I do tend to get my little fro in the back much earlier than I would anywhere else in my hair, um, which lets me know that my back is growing faster than my front, which is weird because my front is longer than my back. But who knows? Who's here? Who's here? It's hair. Who cares? All right. So that's what I learned. I've been talking for 20 minutes about Swiss lock. So, um, Going to get into this wrap lock tool. That's some of the things I learned, pros, cons, things I noticed, blah, 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 whoop, de, whoop. And my first year of having sister locks, um, I hope they're up and get a lot longer because um, my wedding is May of next year. And I don't know how these are going to be styled. Um, so, yeah. Moving on. Sorry, I'm drinking a smoothie. All right, so moving on to the review for the wrap lock tool. The wrap lock tool, um, you can Google it. It's just wrap a lock, I think, dot com. I'm not sure. You can Google their website. I'm going to show you the box right quick. This is the box that they came in. Uh, can you see it? It's just a, the wrap lock tool. It has two queens on the front. On the back side, it talks about Sister Nandy, which is the inventor and founder. Um, it's a hairstyling tool that creates tight curl, tight spiral curl, tight spiral curls on all hair textures um it could be worn the the good thing about the unique thing i noticed about these is they can also be worn in your hair as a styler um kind of like how some people create like the the lock pedals and different things if you get your right size but i'll get into that um uh, according to this it takes about 40 tools which is two packs to get the quintessential wrap wrap a lock look i guess the wrap a lock tool has its own signature look that people um go for um so yeah so it just has some people on the on the back that have created some styles with the wrap tool um based on your so each box comes with 20 tools per pack i bought one pack and i think it was about 25 26 dollars for the pack um so based on your length of hair depends so they have three different sizes based on your length of hair you buy the tool that correlates with your hair length um if your hair is up to six inches you're going to order the small tool from 7 to 12 inches. You order the medium tool and from some 7 to 12 inches, you order the medium tool. And from 13 to 20 inches, you order the large tool. Now, I don't know why I assumed my hair. OK, so when I started my sister locks, my hair was 10 inches. When I measured a couple of the random pieces a few minutes ago, I am averaging around 7 or 8 inches, which I'm assuming they, sh they shrunk because my hair is locking on itself. Don't know why I lost the inches. Didn't cut my hair didn't fall out don't know the science behind it whatever all right so um if your hair is 13 to 20 inches you order the large tool so that's that's what it looks like i used these tools last night so i have kind of straightened them back out so you can see them these are the tools yeah so these are the tools this it comes with 20 in a pack i'm going to separate one out just to show y'all this is the tool and it kind of reminds me of a pipe cleaner on crack. So it's like a pipe cleaner-ish esque. It's not pipe cleaner at all. It's much, much dirtier, but just for comparison's sake. It is like a pipe cleaner type deal, and it has like a 
rubber, a flexible rubber casing up the whatever metal bendy thing is inside of it. And it also has ridges, like little small ridges all the way down, all the way down. So this is the wrap tool. Bends, you know. So what I did is I folded mine in half because my hair is averaging about seven inches and I guess I should have measured that before I bought them. But I figured if I buy, boom. I figured if I buy larger tools, when my hair gets longer, hence 13 inches or longer, I won't have to buy new tools. I will just utilize these. So what I did is because the large tool is 10 inches and the medium tool is six inches and my hair is somewhere between seven and 20 inches, I just bought the large tool and I folded it in half, right? Some of them actually didn't even fold in half, I just did like this. So the goal is for you to take your tool, put your hair here, wrap it, then you fold this over to hold it, and then you start rolling, blah, 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 blah. Boom, then you secure this end, and you know your hair's wrapped around it, and it's like that. So people wear them in a style because this is flexible, so you can, you know, you can kind of hide that in your hair and just create styles with it, which is, you know, like I said, a unique feature of this tool in particular because with flexi rods or perm rods or anything else that people use to curl their locks, you know, once they're in there, they're, they're kind of unsightly and you don't wear them anywhere. Um, I went to the gym this morning and I had these in and nobody really noticed. Um, I mean, you can tell like the color differences, like these are uh, like a grayish black and my hair is like brownish black, but it wasn't enough for me to care. Like if I had flex rocks in my hair, I wouldn't have went anywhere. I would have just taken them out. Um, so, you know, you can Google and, and look up some of the things. Hopefully I can link their website down in the bottom so you can check them out if you um, want to use them. Um, they even say, you know, any any hair texture on this back. So I don't, you can probably use this on uh, loose natural hair as well or bigger locks as well. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's a wrap lock tool. 20 comes, 20 comes in the pack and the box says you do need 40 to create the signature wrap lock style. Um, I may end up buying a second set. I did, I only used 18 to accomplish the style, but I do know like some of them are looser than the others. You know, I kind of rushed the back. I just threw them in there because it was getting late and I just wanted to at least attempt the style for today. Um, just so I can put them in smaller sections, but I don't know. I kind of like the loose and messy look. I don't like tight, perfect curls, so smaller sections may not work for what I'm going for. But um, I also rolled them tight. Um, the It also comes, I threw the paper away, but it comes with a little um, instruction manual inside and a couple of other papers in there that tells you, you know, exactly how to use it and whatnot. It also says not, it says to stop wrapping your hair about an inch and a half from the root. I went all the way to the root. Uh, I don't know why, because I don't listen. Um, yeah, and that's how I came with this out. Wrap my hair. They're very, they're comfortable. I slept fine in these. Um, I have not experienced that with any other uh, style, even when it was, I tried Bantu knotting on these and that came out pretty cool. I have not got this much curl definition from any other tool or style that I have um, attempted. So sleeping on those are not bad. Um, I will say anybody else, like a normal person, probably would feel fine. But I felt like in my head, I could feel the little wire in this and I felt like I felt the ridges, but the ridges are so, oh yeah, let's get it there. Yeah. So you can see it. Boom. So it has ridges all the way down to, to kind of help, you know, grasp the hair. Um, and if you, if you tighten them right, you can just unclip the ends and just slide it out and kind of maintain your curl if you want to keep, you know, a tight curl, whatever. Um, I felt in my mind, I felt like I could feel the ridges and I felt like I could feel the wiring, but I probably just made that up in my head. I probably didn't feel them at all. I slept pretty good. It didn't, it didn't really disturb me too much. So they're, they're pretty comfortable to sleep in. Um, you can wear them for a while. Um, the box says that they're swim proof. Um, I guess, which means you can wear them while you're swimming. They're mildew and residue resistant, um, air dryable. I guess your hair can air dry while those are in. Um, they're reusable, easy application, um, and they create lasting curls, styles, and waves. So I definitely enjoyed the wrap lock tools. Um, I'm probably going to buy another box just so I can kind of, 
wrap my hair in small, into smaller sections and just kind of see what styles I can come up with um, with them. Um, I am also going to, you know, going to try, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Uh, also, I'm also going to try, you know, as soon as I took these out, it had like a very defined large barrel curl. I'm probably going to just try leaving that in because I did a lot of finger detangling in order to get this. But yeah, so that's the wrap lock tool. That is Sister Locks After a Year. I'm just going to kind of play in it so you can see. Here, hoping you can see the back. All right, so that is my one year Sister Lock update um everything's fine um i don't wear any type of tension styles like i guess that this is the most i do with it um my widow's peak is still i guess y'all can see my flaws my widow's peak is still shit popping um the little fine hairs that people use to make baby hairs they're still there but I thought maybe I was, you know, when I was loose natural, maybe I was putting too much tension on there, which is why my widow's peak never grew in. But that is obviously what the universe has meant for my life. So I'm stuck with the widow's peak. So sister locks are going to continue to mask half of said widow's peak and highlight the other half. But yeah, so that is my one year sister lock update. Combined with a review of the wrap -a lock tool, um, I suggest trying it even if you are um, a loose natural or relaxed or whatever. I like the tool, um, you know, no heat style, low maintenance, um, versatile. I, I, I like the tool. Uh, they didn't sponsor it. I bought that with my own uh, money. If you, if I want to sponsor another video by sending me another 20 piece. Okay with that, but um, yeah, so I have spent enough of you guys' time. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, I'll be back with Blanket Crew. I get away with murder. Um, now that I am unemployed, it's really not that traumatic. Um, I have more time to maybe focus on my videos and make that quality a little better. So, um, any questions, comments, concerns, gripes? Anything you need to say, say it in the description bar and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.